Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is down 416, Nasdaq's up 134, S&P's down 47. Let's go to our man, Mr. Jack Gleason, as we do each and every Thursday at 40 past the hour. We get our man Jack coming to us live from beautiful Costa Rica. Jack Gleason, what's going on, brother? Hey, man, just, I need to turn on the air conditioning. It's getting pretty hot in here. So, um, <laughs> yeah, wow, what a couple of days since I've seen you guys. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. Hope you had a great Christmas. Anything else happening in the market that we missed, man? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I woke up Christmas Eve. I'm like, I'm going to check the markets to see what they're doing. And then I was like, wow, oh, that turned into uh, one heck of a Christmas Eve. I didn't want to trade, but I ended up sitting at my desk for the early morning. Um, but yeah, so we have completed all short targets that I have had. So I've sent you a couple of charts. One of them is the S&P 500. And basically from the high, I think it's in September, the low in October, we completed uh, both negative 23 and negative 61.8% profit targets. So from that swing high, which is that last swing high that began the month of December on December 3rd to the low right now in the S&P 500, which is overnight session uh, this week. Um, the halfway back is 2565. So that's going to be, you know, if we make a new low, it'll just be taking that same high of the new low, dividing that by 2565. That's interesting because we got an intraday a ABC structure down to 2568. No, I'll be down, they'll be below. Oh, yeah. But, no, so that's what he's saying. It's only three points below where he's talking about. No, no, he's talking about above 2565 up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you put 2565 up there? I was going to say, oh, intraday, all the way up there. <laughs> but with these moves, why not? Um, yeah, no, I, I, I'm i sorry. Go ahead, Jack. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's just going to be, I think it's going to be a magnet going forward. Like, I do, I do think, you know, that was definitely a more of like a capitulation load just because you saw that follow up yesterday. Um, you know, maybe it was a punch protection team stepping in, who knows? Uh, but, like, because we had such a heavy reversal, I think we'll be making our way back up to that 25.65 over the next, you know, week or so. I mean, that could happen in a few days the way this market's trading. But that is going to be a really important level for the bulls to hold on a continuation uh, lower. So um, pay attention to that. Also, I do believe we can actually gap fill here today if we can get above 24.39 in the S&P. Uh, and that's why I sent you my other setup, which okay. is just specifically – for the Dow, um, but basically if the Dow holds its current low here that we've just put in in the last 20 minutes, 23,284 is going to be your profit target, and that will probably complete on Monday, or I guess, yeah, by Monday. So if we can hold these lows and we stay above these lows, we'll be up at 23,284 by, by Monday, so before the end of the year. That's 700 bucks. Yeah. That's my call. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing, brother. The moves are so big, man. Those retracements, 50%. Watch out because you're dealing with 50% of a move that's just gigantic. That's the thing, folks, that I think all of us that understand Fibonacci really want you to wrap your head around. It, it depends on what the percentage is off the move that you just made. And that's really important because guess what? When it's a smaller move, it's not the end of the world. When it's a large move like this, you can get tossed around in two seconds As flat. As we're seeing, man. Yeah. Yeah, two seconds flat. If, if you guys, I don't know if you guys noticed, but like basically yesterday at the open, we came halfway back from the overnight lows in all four indexes. When that level held, because we were actually in a short trend, obviously, going into that, those levels held, and they just went straight through both profit targets um, to the upside. When I see that type of action where you have, and you can, you know, if you just draw the low of the overnight session to the high end, any of those markets yesterday in the morning, they all traded into that 50% retracement. And then with that holding and going straight up, when you have the, the, the same day, you have a completion of both the negative 23 and the negative 61. And of course, we went through that. That typically signifies a trend reversal. The same thing will happen on the top side too. That actually happened. Uh, it didn't happen in the same day, but we basically set up in a halfway back short on December 3rd and then completely went through profit targets on the following day on Tuesday. So I like to say within 24 hours, if we trade a halfway back and then complete both targets, that signifies a trend reversal to me. So I do believe yesterday was at least an intermediate trend reversal till we get back up to that 2565 halfway back for December. Yeah, it's going to be a heck of a few days coming into this close because there's, there's no doubt that, uh, you know, money managers in general are basically there, sitting there like, okay, man, you know, I've already charged the fees. The market's down. <laughs> it's a dicey know. decision whether you, you know, three-day treatment. You know, 
it's, it's time to start marking up the books. I mean, that's what they say, especially end of the year. <laughs> If a move that we had down, I wouldn't see us. I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe it'll you know, mark up the books. But I mean, oil yesterday too, ten and a half percent move. I think low to high. I know it didn't close up that high, but I'm just looking at that thing. I didn't trade any oil yesterday, but I, you know, because there was so much other, so much uh, going on in the S and P. But then I'm looking at oil. I'm going, what is going on? You know, the historical day across the board. You had record breaking day in the Dow, record breaking day in the S and P as far as a point change. Um, no, Percentage-wise, just mammoth, man, across the board. Look at that oil. I mean, what, what were you? What time is it at that we were down there? Like 8:30, we're trading at 42 and change, and by the time you reach 4 o'clock, we're trading at 47. Yeah, 47, straight up highs of the day. Um, but yeah, I mean, typically, obviously, those are massive moves, and I, I, I believe. I believe yesterday was a trend reversal, and I think it's some relief. You got a little bit of a pullback this morning, but what do you expect? You basically went 60 handles straight up the ES in the last hour. So we just gave up the last hour here in the morning, um, and it seemed to be holding it. But if we can get about 39s, which we're trading 35s right now, to me that's going to validate upside profit target to 25.12 by Monday in the S&P. You watch it. I'll call you guys on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, we like it. Thing. We, we can get our head wrapped around that. Thursday, <laughs> otherwise known as 2019. 2019. <laughs> yeah, wait, is that, see, like, New Year's Day is what, Monday? New and Year's then... Day is Tuesday, so we just looked it up. We actually have a full day of trading on Monday. Yeah. Markets open till 4. Um, yeah. That should be an exciting day with what's the, the way things are shaping up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The markets are closed on Tuesday because we don't need any hungover traders pushing this market around the way it's acting. Yeah, I think we got enough in the market already, man, with that one. <laughs> That's for sure. So, hey, you enjoying yourself down there? Yeah, I got a buddy coming down next week. So we do some more fishing. Uh, apparently, it's the best mahi-mahi season in, like, the last 10 or 15 years down here. So uh, my freezer is packed with mahi-mahi. I'm pretty much on a mahi-mahi avocado diet. That's, this a, great, oh, that's man, a great diet. An avocado on top. I'm an that's avocado a great, man, That's a great Jack. diet. Love it. Man, yeah. that's, and fish yeah. always And mahi-mahi is I know. Just... Book your flight, man. Get down there. It's season. <laughs> And when you catch a mahi mahi, unfortunately, folks, what happens? As soon as you catch it, they flash up. Their colors are like, they freak. Uh, it's, it's Isn't that wild, good. Jack? Yeah. yeah. It's so wild. I mean, they jump. You know, they're such. They're pure muscle, like a tuna, just flying yeah. out of the water. Yeah, green, blue, yellow. The colors are amazing. I know. It's it's. Yeah. They're like, oh no, okay. this is it. I'm that, glad I'm not a freaking fish, uh, man. I'll send Everyone's you eating here every day. <laughs> send it, man. Send it. We want to see those colors for sure. Charts and the fish. Right? <laughs> Listen, man, you have a great one, a safe one. Uh, Happy New Year, and we look forward to speaking to you next week, Jack. Happy New Year, guys. Take care. Thanks, Thank Jack. You. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrial.